Good evening and welcome to tonight's Foxborough High game, a non-league contest between the Severian Hawks and the Foxborough Warriors. I'm Stu Baig along with Jim Sestito and we're going to bring you the play-by-play -play tonight. All right, Stu. Well, it's a non-league contest, a little bit of a um, friendly rivalry, a lot of Foxborough kids, as we all know. I especially know because I pay the tuition bills. Go to Severian, probably about 40 or so here in attendance. And in fact, Dan Atkinson for Severian making his return to Foxborough, the one Foxborough player on the Severian roster. But let's talk about the Warriors. Three and two, a big win the other night versus Latin Academy. They're in their non-league part of the schedule. Next week they have a bye on Tuesday and then get back into league play. But they're two and two in the league, Jim. Yeah, it started and out a little slow, 0 oh and two, and then got themselves a quick three wins in a row here. All right, we're going to do our national anthem and Al Sozio. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare of bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave oh, the land Another unbelievable rendition. Al Sozio, he almost blew me out on the Rockets look clear. <laughs> but another great rendition by Al. So, Foxborough three and two coming in, three wins in a row, Jim. Yeah, Severian one and four coming in. Not playing, not getting off to a good start. Beat uh, St. John's from Shrewsbury, lost to Brockton Latin, Durfee. And they were in a uh, Brockton tournament this weekend, lost to Brockton and to uh, Old O'Brien. O'Brien, yeah. Can't read my handwriting. Yeah, they were up um, by six against um, Brockton in the second half, and Brockton turned on the press and basically blew them out of the gym. Brockton's a very, very, very good Division One team this year. Looking at their schedule over there, they got a couple of big kids over there. Six five, is he? Yep, and it's Rex is their Eric Rex is their center uh, forward. He's actually a very good football player. You know, Division One recruit. Probably not the best defensive end in the league. In the state, that, that title probably belongs to Corey Eason, who will be seen very soon from Mansfield, uh, getting recruited by every major Division One football program. But we're, we're, we're here for basketball, not football, and that's Dan Atkinson off Foxborough there you go. playing for Zaverian with the ball, and he gives it to A.J. Pappen. Foxborough and a man. That's all. No, that's Pappy, excuse me, to Patty. A little homework that you did. They don't really handle the press all that well, so we'll see how they do with That's Atkinson Foxworth. puts it up, and he misses, and Drew Connolly. Atkinson is a junior. Played um, youth ball with Connolly and Bernstein. And, uh, a couple of steps good. on Tim that time. An unusual travel for Jim. They cut him off. They've obviously surprised Scott Fox. I don't know that Cheney's uh, big scorer after over 20 points a game. It's Atkinson, and but they are putting the pressure on him. A big loss for these guys, right? The quarterback that they have in football there, Greg. Greg Hyman hurt his Out labor on injury. And shoulder playing football. He's going to have surgery, not playing for them. That's Joyce, who misses it. And the rebound, and Cheney's going to pick up a rebound foul as Rex kind of goes over his back. And 
But Cheney's going to pick up the foul. He's I'm not sure in. about that. He, I think he leaned in then. He huh? leaned into him. He, gave, he boxed him out and kind of gave him the butt. Once the kid lose his feet, though, I thought, uh, just moving his feet into him. But if he stayed there, it would have been, uh, yeah, Bo didn't like that call too much. Okay, that's Joyce with the ball. He's going to launch another oh, that's three. Deep. And this time he hits it. He falls down. <laughs> that was NBA <laughs> out there. He was out there. Now it's Cheney with a pull up. No good. And Atkinson with the rebound. David Patty setting it up. Atkinson and Patty playing catch. Comes into Rex. Rex moves. turn around. No good. Rebound fought for him. Connolly comes away with it. There you go. Good job, Drew. Plasmati with the ball. He drives. He's going to get fouled. No shot does not drop. The foul's going to be on Patty. His first. Um, team first. And on the floor, not shooting. Cheney passing the ball in. Oh, off the tip. Oh, make that work. Jimmy Cheney with the basket. So Fox, uh, it's very least three to two. And Joyce Loach has another three and hits it. So he puts them up six to two. Another three pointer for Kyle Joyce. He's from Hanover. He's going downtown too. He's that last there. one he took was NBA. Comes and loaded. Good ball move. Connolly. Connolly is going to force Rex into a foul. So Rex uh, picks up the foul. Now it'll be his first. His first. Oh, team second. Second, yeah. And Drew Connolly at the line. This first, second on the team. At the line for the Warriors, number four, Drew Connolly. So Drew at the line. He's a junior. And he makes the first. Six three Foxborough trails. And two for two, two for two. Drew. And Foxborough gonna press. So the area is susceptible to press. Atkinson in trouble, but they break the press. They find another three point launch. Oh uh, boy, there he Kyle is. Kyle Joyce, he's three for three, three for four. Nine points. All nine. Cheney up strong, and he's going to pick up another foul on Rex. That's Rex the second, I believe. Fouls on number 14, Alex Rex. Yeah, it is. So two on Rex, three on the team. That's big. Picking up the second one. Rex is a pretty athletic kid. Timmy Cheney at the line now, trying to add to his two points. Doesn't. Nine fours of Aaron leaves all nine points on three pointers by Kyle Joyce. Maybe someone should get out on him a little bit, Stu, you think? Well, that time, oh, was, the keep shooting. That time was the fast break. Uh, Cheney, on character, at least he misses both. And Rex has the rebound. Yeah, pressure these guys a little bit. Let's go. That's him uh, again. That time he hits nothing. A little pressure. Joyce misses it. And that's Sestito with the ball to Plasmati. Finds Connolly. Cheney sitting by himself on the outside. They find him now. He slashes in. And Rex, oh, no, they're going to call it a jump ball. I thought Rex picked up his third foul. We're not fortunate enough that to happen right now. But it's a jump ball, possession, Foxborough. Well, the team starting off with a quick lead here. Three three pointers. Bang! Uh, I think Cheney, that's an answer. Cheney that's answers three. with three. He has five. Varian breaks the press. Atkinson, he's, Atkinson he's pretty accurate from that distance, but misses, comes over the back, steals the rebound from Sestito. Sestito looking for the foul, and they're going to call it out of bounds off Atkinson, though. No foul there, out of, out of bounds. 12.55 to play, first half. Foxborough trails, 9-7. Non-league contest. Looks like we'll have ourselves a little game here. Seem to be well matched, too. Yep. All right to the spot. Bang. Sestito misses, but Connolly tips the rebound free, but it's going to bounce off Atkinson's foot. And Foxborough is going to set up in their press. Pretty good crowd on tonight, uh, Jimmy. One of the better crowds we've seen. Yeah, it's nice to see it. Oh, nice Teams holiday playing. week. 
team's playing well. People coming out and supporting them. Severian brought their fans. I'm seeing Severian how a lot of towns they support. A lot of looking at their schedule, they got a lot of towns they support over here. Same kid Joyce. going after it. He feels it tonight. Uh -huh. Three of his first four, but has missed his last two. And Cheney on the run finds Sustito for three, and he cannot put Fox Bonilla as it goes in oh, and out. Wants. And Atkinson with the rebound. Danny Atkinson coming home to play at Foxborough. Foxborough resident at Severian. Atkinson has it on down low. He loses the ball. Plasmati and Sustito fight him far. We get a jump ball. It'll be Severian ball on the alternating possession. Nice job, boys. That's good hustle right there. It's looking at 9-7. Four minutes gone in the first. Size kid right there. Yeah, that's right. He's defensive end on the football team. Yeah. Like he recruit, recruited by a lot of Division One programs. Probably, oh, needs to, probably needs to fill out a little, but he's only a junior. <laughs> That's how they yeah. get that look. Rebound. Nice Joyce rebound misses. There. He's fouled though, and the foul is Atkinson, I believe. Yep, Atkinson. No, excuse me, Crossburg. Wrong team. The senior Grossberg picks up the foul, his first. Joyce makes the first foul shot. And with four minutes and 15 seconds gone in the game, he has 11 points, uh, 10 points. 10 points, up, yeah. Double figures right there's now. There's your 11 right there. There's his 11. I want to say he's on 90% of the scoring right here. Or, no, he's all the percent. That's 100%. 100%, 11 out of 11. We got a foul. And now the foul is going to be on number 14, A.J. Pappy. That's Pappy's second. Oh, Rex. Rex's third foul. That's Rex, number 14. Rex's third foul already, boy. Yeah. So Kevin Mason replaces Rex as Rex picks up three quick ones in a little over four minutes. Maybe seeing a minutes. little bench time right now. And we, may, we probably won't see him the rest of the way in this first half. Spin oh. move by Connolly, but they're going to call him for the travel. A little feet there, a little feet. Nice move. Kevin Mason, a junior from Quincy in the game. That's Atkinson. And David Patty breaks the press. Comes low to Mason. Mason works. He can't get it off the glass. Mason gets his rebound. We got a foul, and it looks like it's going to go on Drew. Nope, it's going to go on three, plas two, plasmatic. Plas it's going to go on plasmatic. So that's the third foul on the team. First on plasmatic. So there nice ball. The well, there you go. Plasmatic oh. on the floor finds Sustito. He's got Cheney in front of him, but he's going to get an open lane. He puts it in his mouth. Cuts the lead to 11-9. Foxborough pressing 2-2-1. Two, two, Atkinson has it. That's all he did. There's a little press right there. Don't reach, don't reach. Break the job, press. Boys. Atkinson has it. The, the, take, you know, taking 10 seconds off the shot clock. Launch it. Another three launch. These kids, they don't mind shooting for the three, huh? A.J. Patty Cheney with open space. He lays it up. Oh, how do you do in. it? Nice job. Atkinson has it. Mason, it looks like he walked. Cheney sitting on seven points in the first half. Averaging over 20, hasn't scored less than 20 in any oh, game. Oh, tip ball. And we got to travel on Papa. Bo's got his press work, and they're looking good. Here comes the replay right now. Luke Shimowinski. Nice move there, nice steal. Plaz, Sestito up on his own. Nice job. That's how to move the ball. Timmy slashing back. Oh. Maddie. Maddie. Oh, he's good in the game, and he misses. So good comes in. He's first off the bench today. No, 32, Joe Steve. He's been hurt, dislocated his shoulder, but he's entering the game. Tough pass there, nice recovery. Get it out. Oh, oh it's a reset there. Well, 
Foxborough ball underneath, whatever happened. And Good has it. One of the multiple lefties on the Foxborough team. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. It's at three. And Sestito. Oh, uh, there it three. is. He wanted it. Boys got to start scoring if they're going to do anything now, here. Now they're in a one, now two, two, one, now two, one, two. Foxborough falls back. Good pressure. Takes another 10 seconds off that shot clock. Loose ball. Still on. Um, no. Nope. Cheney steals. Steal. Oh, what a move. Oh, misses. Good with the rebound. No, Cheney with the rebound. He's got to make that. Crossberg. He misses. Good. Keeps the ball alive. Fought for and good like steals it. Hurt right here. Uh, he has a move. Cheney's in. Patty down. Uh, that's Dave Patty of um, Severi, and he looks like he got hurt. Yeah, he got hurt early. The uh, referee was just waiting for his time to call it. The kid was sitting there holding his ankle. And Severian, I believe, called that timeout, but I'm not positive. I think that was referee. It looked like he called it himself. I'm not sure what the rule is on that. He sat there for a while. So what do you well, it looks like somebody took a timeout. Nope, it was an official's timeout. Right. I know Bo now is kind of questioning that, why they all over there. So. Hey, here comes a replay of the last one. Here comes Chaney. Dipsy Boy, dude. So he got a nice little slash. Didn't there. move, didn't get it. They fell up when we lost the rest of it. Okay, back to live action. And Foxborough's now to go gone on the press up now. 16 to 1, 11. And other than Kyle Joyce, nobody scored. Now in the game, Pat Bright, Brady in the game for uh, Zavarian. They don't mind. Oh, is that about? They don't mind watching the three-pointers, Stu. Nope, Joe Steve threw that one up. They look like they want to shoot from the outside, so. 8.44 to go, first half. Foxborough trailed early, but now leads. There he goes for three. Gee, oh, that looks Cheney, oh, yeah, ball. Mason with the rebound. Pat Brady back. And nice play, Jim Brady. Oh, oh, almost had the turnover. Now they, oh, they still don't get the turnover. They all touched it. And loose ball. Looks like Tavirian's got a lot of scoring options out there right now. Cheney. Fakes like he's going to launch a three. Now he's going to slash, but he does best. And he's fouled, and the foul is on Atkinson. You got that one, 21, Ack? You know, wholesale changes for Foxborough coming in. After this foul shot. Oh, oh they gave a foul to Mason, not Atkinson. So uh, Cheney at the line. Bernstein. Mason number one. Is Bernstein in? Yeah, yeah Bernstein in. Bernstein just come in, I think, for Allen Conley. just came in and Plasmati. Plasmati on, father Plasmati on suspension from announcing. <laughs> for not wearing a clean T-shirt. Gave it up to one other. <laughs> As long as my name last ended in an O, we're all set here. <laughs> well, that's a nice steal. Nice yes. job, boys. You got him over there. The younger Plasma Go ahead. finds Sestito, and they're going to call Sestito for a while. Probably should have took the three. And Bo does not like the call, and didn't think Jimmy Charles, but he had no, a good I look. Was, I thought it was one step. He took the step, it was going to shoot, but I'm not sure if he and gave Bo's the... now showing everyone what the move was. <laughs> that wasn't a trial. No, Joyce back in the game. He has been Severian's offense. Oh, that's a backcourt as Brady steps on the backcourt line. Good defense right there. Jimmy, nice job. Well, they show a little weakness on their um, They don't like, they don't handle the pressure well, Stu. So if they can stay on them and stay out of foul trouble, we should be all right with these guys. Yeah. Right, right now we lead by six. And that's an over the back. back huh? But saved, and Cheney comes away with it. Hines a cutting nice class. Pass. Maddie blocked. Bernstein, no good. Allen, no Allen. good. Oh. Rebound loose. Bernstein has a hand. Oh, Allen's got a hand on it, and Severian comes away with it. Put a fork in that potato. 
And that is on the drive, Luke Shimolinski. Number three, Shimolinski. Yeah. I just call him Luke on the scorecard. He is, yeah. <laughs> I'll just give him, give him Shim. <laughs> uh, Two that's points. an air ball by Plasmati. And back comes Severian. As he's that is number three. Trying to hang in the game after opening up an early lead. Comes down to Mason. Mason spins on Bernstein and lays it in. I'll give him his points now. So Zavarian cuts it back to two. Yeah. Start going after the hoop a little bit here. There it is. That's Sestito. He's going to try to spin, and they're going to call him for an offensive foul. Wow. I was scratching my eye, so I didn't see it. <laughs> but Bo's <laughs> complaining about that call. Our refs today, uh, Chris Mello, we've seen Chris a lot, sporting an injury on his wrist. And Derek Barber, we've seen Derek a few times, too. And Bo takes a timeout, so that's Fox Bo's first timeout. Not very Jim, happy we with got that. a big fundraiser coming up, don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. That's right. And the alumni game coming up. I don't think we have a sheet here. I don't have my sheet. 35 bucks? 35 dollars a person. Saturday the 14th? 14th. We got an alumni game. I think we have, um, I think we got four games going on. The Dana Barros. Um, so come out, support it. Look at the reporter. Big fundraiser for the boosters. Um, you can see, right yeah, now, if you can come out, it's going to be a fun time. Support your troops right. out here. We need you. Right now we're in non-league play, but we're going to get back to league play next week. Foxborough is a bye on Tuesday, but um, just had the standings up there. A surprising hot, early Hockamock lead is Sharon, who we played early and beat, them, beat us for the first time in about nine tries, but they had the early lead. Not many people expected a lot out of Sharon early. No, actually they looked for real that night. I thought they played very well. The right back twins have been playing very well. Todd the got them in the twins. Boy, it's funny got. growing up with them, yeah. the boys. Uh, but they, them all the way uh, yeah. since Franklin, Pee -wee Franklin was the early favorite in the clubhouse. We got beat by North Attleboro, but Foxborough hanging right in there at two and two. Um, Franklin beat North Attleboro last night. North as well. I thought that, that, was it in the North Attleboro turn? Might be a non-league game. Oh, no, that's a league game. No, that I believe it's a non-league game. Too. They are, they played earlier. Oh, it, I was. I don't, I'm not sure. I just could have you know, been there. Jimmy was North telling me today that Franklin beat. North Attleboro last yeah, night. I think it was, it was in that North shot. Attleboro tournament. Oh, okay. So Still a good look then, those two see each other. So they'll play each other three times. Not counting a chance to meet in the tournament, but both Division I. Chaney Get in the hole. Using the right hand, no good. Allen with the rebound. Oh, he was landed on by Mason, but no call. So need Back a little comes Severian, right there and there's ball in. Joyce, and they cut off the three that time. Good defense by Sestito. Chmielinski throws up the three. Five points for Shim. And now Severian has taken the lead by one. Cheney stops, pops. There and it is. Goes. Once we get him on a roll here. And Cheney now in double figures with 11. Quiet 11 already. He'll take his shots at it. Move, Jim. So here in offense kind of reminds me of when Mitchell was here when we used to take about 33s a game. I got a replay of that Cheney basket. Moving the ball well. Just to see him watch him step right into that open slot. He's going to move see Joyce back off. And Cheney's going to do the stop and pop right inside the three point line. Oh, yeah. If you're going to give him anything close to that paint, he's going to grab too, it. Too, too much room. Pulled up a little too late. Good passing going on right here. Severian, very nice. That's an air ball. Saved by Chmielinski. Very athletic play. Shot clock goes off, but Fox already had possession. Take it right back. Nice job, boys. That's how you move the yeah. ball a little here bit. Here comes Chaney, three on two. Finds good. Good hit, and he's going to go to the line. On the floor. No, he's calling it on the floor. He's not going to call it. Oh. Well, we have a little chance here, Stu. Just want to support our uh, cable company. You know that we're always looking for volunteers over here. For any games, any kind of sporting events. Cable Aid has been so good. These guys come here on their own time, always bringing it out here, nonprofit. 
We are always looking for volunteers, for cameras, anything you guys can do to help us. Come on out. It's a fun time. You'll enjoy yourself. It's a good group of guys here, so. If you have your chance, you can always get a hold of me, Jim Sestito, Mike Weber, anybody on this floor that's come to the games, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll hook you right up. Especially in the girls' broadcast, is correct? Yeah, we heard the girls are having a little trouble. Jim Shevlin with the help. Drew Carr at the line. He was fouled. And he misses. Drew's usually pure, too. He has a nice little shot. Bend your knees a little bit, Drew. You do all right here. Well, we got ourselves a game here. Still got a one-point game. Four minutes to go. 4-22. Connolly at the line. He misses both. Got it. Clark's got it. Should nice job. Nine. That's how you do Another it. Another good right offensive there. rebound from Good. He loses the handle, but gets Good has been good. playing awesome. Bernstein has been playing Super Bowl the last few games. These kids have been really playing. No. Nope. Sestito throws it away. Shimolinski on the run. He's quick and loses the handle, but it's going to be bounced off the of Clark's ball. And again, Coach Rosario, the Hall of Fame coach, is not very happy with the call. Uh, I noticed the last three games, four games, nice to see Bo really into it. He's, he's really moving these kids. In the these corner, kids that's Bob ball. from Franklin. And Joyce, they're, they're all over Joyce after those first three. Ball tipped out of bounds. Nice defensive play by Jim Sestito. 15 on the shot clock. Yeah, they got to look at it a little bit. Let's we'll see what. Get deep. Just going to run it back. Severian has for an inbounds play. Not much. You're giving it to him. Shot clock, clock at eight. Down to, down to five seconds. Turn it. Turn around. No good. That was Ferris. Anybody? There you go. All right, let's go, boys. Let's move the ball a little bit here. Chaney with a win. Oh, get in the oh. hole. Misses, but the foul is going to be on Severian. Oh, he's he have a nice baseline move, doesn't he? He moves that ball so quick. Fouls on Severian's number 45, David Ferris is first. Ferris picked up the foul. 45, Ferris. Yeah. Eighth team foul on Severian. Foxborough leads 19-18, and Chaney at the line for two. And the Come on, get in there for him. Yes, so you get a little team roll. Hometown roll, Atkinson back in the game for Fox, uh, for Zavarian. Fox for the native. You're junior, right? Junior, yeah. yeah. And Chaney misses, and Atkinson gets the rebound. Nice article in this week's reporter on Timmy Chaney, three sport uh, style. Not many three sport athletes left even in a town like Foxborough. And the Chaney Oscolastic football. Got a good shot at all scholastic three basketball. Three seconds going on. These kids are hanging out in there. Yeah, the kid's for real. All around talent, anything he does. It's nice to watch. Good group of kids. Atkinson turn around, jump shot. He hits it. And it's a tie game. Just under three minutes to go, but here comes Chaney. And they're going to get Chaney. No. Nope. They're going to get Chmielinski on a block. And that's a nine, so it won't be a shoot. And I believe Severian's going to take a timeout. Now, did they get charged with that first timeout or just? Um, no, it wasn't. It was a referee's timeout. Referee's timeout. Good crowd in attendance tonight. One of the better crowds we've seen. Sharon made a good crowd for the Sharon game. Again, this team is playing very well. Good kids, good group of kids. Come out, try to support them. Absolutely, come on out. It's a fun time out here. Foxborough has been a very, very competitive men's program, despite being one of the smallest schools in the Hockamock League the last few years. And this is a very good group again. Well, they're workers. They're workers. The next home game will be January 6th versus Stoughton. And another good little squad. Stoughton's playing fairly well, I think. Yeah, they lost a lot of kids from last year, but they're still a very tough school to play. Always been a good basketball program. Oh, yeah. Every time you see it, a lot of tough kids in the Hockamock division. I love watching them all play. So 
So let's see, Foxborough basically with their starting team, Cheney, Plasmati, Sestito, Atkinson, and Grossberg. I mean, she's got Con keep on calling it, Grossberg and Connolly. And Cheney's, oh, it's going to be, a, no, it shouldn't be a one-on-one. -on -one. Nine, I think that was nine. It's one-on-one -on -one he's calling. It was on the floor. It's going to stay there now. Wow. <laughs> Somebody that's was there and sleep on the switch. There uh, you go, Timmy. That's how you make it. Well, yeah. I know someone on Foxborough was sleeping. No, somebody on Severe. They only got 19 fouls, and they just gave them a one-on-one. -on -one. It's very and coaching staff a little asleep there. It says nine on the board, unless the board well, it's is wrong. supposed to be. It's supposed to be seven is one-on-one, -on -one, Steve. Oh, that's right. Ten, that's you right. Get the two, yeah. that, ten, you get the two. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm asleep at the switch. I'm watching it's too many football that's games. All right. We're all right with the two points. I've been watching too many football games the last few days. Trying, just, I'm still trying to figure out how Minnesota Cheney, lost he, today. We Cheney talking. made both. All right. Well, he's got five. Yeah, one on one is correct. It's, I'm thinking the bonus. Yeah, you, know, you play. My son's put, Jordan's playing in like these some of these tournaments, and they have these strange rules where you don't shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's getting confused Crossberg. on the rules. Crossberg with his first. I had one marked for him, but I don't think he got it. First on Grossberg, fifth on the team. And I'm wrong on my rule. And that's oh, Atkinson. everybody leaving their feet. It's a he nice move it goes. And it's going to be off of Foxborough. It'll be a nice little rebound. Hey, Atkinson looking pretty good there. Got some good moves. Always going to leave their feet. He moved underneath them. Of course, it's very well. A little pick play on the inbounds. Couldn't get what they wanted. Patty with the ball. Nice Traveling by that extra little step. Travel. I love the mouth guard rule. Everyone's got a mouth guard. Nobody has them in their mouth. They're all halfway out of their mouth. Yeah, what is the rule anyway? They get the warning, and then uh, is it a technical if they don't have it in? Or yeah, it's I a, believe so. It's a high school rule. You get one warning, and then I mean, being a parent of someone that plays, they say it's it's very hard to breathe with the men. And there goes Pop on the steal. He's tripped from behind on Sestito. And it's going to be a non-shooting, I believe. I believe that's only the sixth. Not a bad foul. His second, I don't know. I guess if you're going to foul him, don't let him make the shot. Okay. What do we got? A close game here, 22-20. Oh, almost a steal by Sestito. And after Joyce hit those first three, Foxborough's defense has been very good on Joyce. Zavarian turns it over. Foxborough leads two. We got a buck 50 to go. So he wants it. That's where he wants it. Sestito. Oh, he's going to bring it to the hole. That's a bad move. He thought you were guiding him. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he knew, moves he, me he, yeah. he knew, you knew he was going to take the three, he put just, it on the floor, went right by you. It was over me. Nice job, <laughs> boys. So right, Foxborough up four. A minute and a half to go. No Shemolinsky. foul over there. No foul on outside there. Atkinson. Hey, the JV game, they, both teams had over 40 at halftime. We're in the 20s here. And we got a foul call, and it's going to be on Severian. We've got a replay of the Jim Sestito Jr. basket. Right now, his father's saying shoot, right shoot, shoot. That's shoot. a three-point ahead. Obviously, uh, well, whoever got him, I can't see who was got him, but they were listening and <laughs> <laughs> left their feet for a half Left their feet there. and he took them right to the hole, schooled them. Sure, where all that speed came from, but it looked like Joyce was guiding him. Well, mind you, taking to the hole. And Grossberg got the line. Seems like Grossberg can playing forever, but we actually had two Grossbergs over the last six years. I nice see in the brothers play. Come on, we need him to bang a couple of these points now. Come on, boys. These are free throws. We need them. So Gray got the line, and he makes the second. Extends the lead to five. And that's Atkinson with the ball. He gets a lot of time in. <laughs> Playing well. Playing well. Variant squad, they pick out of, I don't know, Foxborough probably nope. picked. Almost a steal by Cheney, but now Joyce is free for a three and misses it. Cheney with the rebound, he's on the run. And pulls it back up as we go under a minute to play. 
Well, we get Severian picking out a double with Foxborough can pick out of a boys, probably 300 boys and 300, 150, you think? Or? Um, probably more than double. About 1,100 in the school, all boys. And Foxborough's got about 800 co-ed, right? That was Plasmati missing the shot, and the rebound is off of Fox. Well, 33 seconds to go, 30 in the shot clock. Bernstein coming in for uh, Rossburg. Allen coming in. Nope. Uh, Sestito out good in. Allen not coming in. And Severian's got the ball. Shot clock will run, yes. A couple of second difference Down five. the two. In the waning seconds of the first half. Nice job. Great defense by Bernstein. Eddie's been playing some great ball the last Atkinson couple of days. Atkinson turn around and doesn't get any iron. The rebound. Cheney with three seconds. Step up. Oh, Bang, 12 seconds. Cheney misses. Oh, nice what a follow up. Up. Good. Nice job. Six seconds left. He's got four seconds now. Atkinson, is he going to get it off? He, he did does. get it off. It's Short. a rainbow and it's about... Three feet short, and at the half, Foxborough 27-20. A good, very another very good first half for the Warriors. Yeah, you got to say a defensive battle going on right there, Stu. Any points being scored on high school level at the varsity level? Well, Timmy Cheney has what do you have in halftime here? He's got 11, 13. He's had five games in a row over 20 points. Yeah, Timmy's been bored in the line. I'm not sure what his number is, but I know he's chasing, he's trying to get to that 1,000 mark. He needs seven more to hit the um, 20. Yeah, do you know where he is on the 1,000? I haven't followed up on that, but I'll tell you by the next time I do this, we'll we'll know exactly what he's chasing. All right, let me mark that down. Jim's we'll job that <laughs> is for next week, to I know, know how I was, many points. I was talking to Jim early. I know he's he's chasing a few. He needs 30-point games if he can get them. Yeah, okay. Now it's hard to score a 1,000. It's not an easy thing. All right, so we're at the half. Foxborough leads 27-20. We'll stop rambling, let the camera crew take a break, let the, the, uh, well, let's take uh, a break for a little bit here. Yeah? Our co-crews take a break. We're gonna be back in a little bit. And, like I said, anytime time. you volunteers, just come on over and see me and I'll hook you right up. You'll be running a camera by next game, I guarantee you. Halftime score, 27-20, the Warriors lead. Looking to go for four in a row. We'll be back with the second half action in a few minutes. Foxborough leads 27-20, and they have the ball. And that's Timmy Cheney. Oh, that's the giveaway right away. We're gonna try to uh, let's try to get a little more offense going here. I'd like to see a few more points being scored. Yeah. That's uh, Joyce. He had the first 11 points on a three or four shooting from three-point land, but he's gotten cold since. And Cheney breaks free, and it's fouled by Joyce. Cheney at the line. And he makes the first. Hey, Rick. Where did Marcus go? Lost him. Having a little technical difficulties and missing a cameraman. Cheney makes two. Sestito almost steals it, but it unfortunately hits the support. But Rick, Foxborough Rick, has a Rick nine. Plus, Maddie's over there trying to chase my cameraman, not sure. <laughs> All right. There he went. You see Mike Weber over there stepping right in on it. That's Rex. He got an early foul trouble, and he's blocked, and he misses the layup and a block shot. But I think we, no, no foul call. Zavarian ball. All right, we get a little bit organized back here. We got our cameraman, Gary Price, down one end. Who's behind us tonight? I'm not sure. Do you know who's behind us, Jim? Well, I got introduced. Chris, yes. 
Chris Kelly and Mike Weber taking over for Marcus. What's Marcus's last name? Chella. I think he got an injury at halftime. I'm not sure. I fed him, and I thought that was maybe enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, he gave us a good half. He did the last game, did good work. And we got Mike stepping in. But we do need volunteers to help out. It's a lot of fun. Your chance, to, you know, it's, it's from here to right to ESPN. I've turned down many a offer from them already. Uh, you know, to you, replace you, Dick Vitale. Come and try it because you'll definitely might find you really enjoy it. Cheney drives, opposite, oh, lays it right up, there. no good. Him and Atkinson fight for the rebound and goes out of bounds, but it's going to be Foxborough ball off of Atkinson. Let's see if Foxborough can take control tonight. The other game against Latin, at this stage of the game, Foxborough opened up like a 12-point lead and Latin fought their way back for a tie before Foxborough finally took That's control. That's a nice little move right there. But Cheney hits a shot to put him up by 11. Not sure if he can just let Stevie alone in the middle like that. The one thing that surprised me so far about the Zverian offense is they do take a lot of threes and really do not put the ball inside at all. Atkinson, it's about as close of a shot as they really take. Atkinson from the foul line. Allen has it. Oh, good he hustle going on it. right there. Both players hit the floor. Great hustle by both players. It's off of Allen, but great hustle by um, Nick Allen. What did he call? A he called timeout there, quick on the floor, did he? I believe it's a timeout. Let's see. Here comes the replay on the Cheney basket. Sestito with a nice pass. Look at just comes a little Chaney. quiet. Look at all quiet. You sneaky Not little sneak. Great Boom. pick by. Um, what was it Plasmati threw the pick? I don't even know who threw the pick. Oh, well, that was the pass. No, oh, Drew. Great pick by Drew. Drew threw a nice pick in the underneath. Drew Conley, great pick. Uh, allow Cheney just to run free. Well, that's our, um, one of There's our refs. In one of our refs. I think that is um, that is um, Chris Mello. Chris Mello. We've had Chris a few times. Uh, I think Bo attacked him in the, before the game, and that's why he has an injury to his hand. Chris Mello, and I think <laughs> we got uh, Derek Barber on the Derek other Derek Barber. Yeah. yeah, we've had Derek a few times over the years. Chris Mello is a very good official. Yeah, he's these guys seem to take control of the game. They're not going to let anybody persuade them either way. There's the president of our boosters and former announcer, Rick Plasmati, wearing his fashionable in and out Burger t-shirt. in and out Burger, if you ever get to California, eat there. It's what do you good. mean former? <laughs> <laughs> well, the man quit on us. Nope. I think City he got a I, 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 I think a, I think Fox he, Sports he had a tough day and asked I think, if, uh, I think Fox Sports Network is after him. And they want him for this this damn sports show. The press is on. Obviously, it's hard for me to be talking over here because one of my cameramen left on me. Now, if I was out in the <laughs> if I was out in Loose ball. if I was out in population, Plus that wouldn't Maddie. have happened. Oh, it's first and ten. Finally, Zavarian comes away with a Rex nice pass right lays there. it up. No good. Allen with the rebound. Oh, so number 14, Rex hasn't been in the game long. He fouled early trouble. And we're going to get Connolly on a travel. And Drew, <laughs> Bo knows he travels, but he's arguing about a call back here. Bo always working the officials. And I think it pays dividends at times. Oh, yeah. Hall of Famer like him, he's got a lot of respect from these guys. He definitely knows his basketball. Foxborough. Pulled out to an 11-point lead early in this quarter, and it's kind of held there here in the second half. we got about 13 and a half to go. I don't know if um, Severian has scored this. No, they haven't. It was 27-20 at the half. No good. Rebound fought for Atkinson with the rebound. It's blocked nice by block. Allen. He's letting him play. And it's off of Severian. And the ball. They're letting him play a little bit here. Here comes a replay of the... I believe. Yep. Ball's all over the place. Goes through Sestito's legs. Atkinson finally came away with it. Looked like a rugby game out there. Cheney drives on live action. Can't get it in. Allen with the rebound. I think they're going to call a foul. And let's see who it is. It's Rex. It's his fourth. It is not Rex. It is A.J. Papa. 
What do you got, Papa? Papa, number five. His first, second on the team, and Grossberg back in the game. Allen out, and to steal by Severian. To the hoop, no good. Ooh. Rebound, Chaney. He had Chaney. somebody with him, too. I was kind of surprised. Two on one, Jimmy. three on one, three on two, oh. four on two. Damn it. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Couldn't get it in. Castillo with the ball to Connolly. Connolly drives. That's the blue we need for him. No good. Puts his rebound back up. Atkinson loses it out of bounds, and it's going to be a nice power ball. move going right there. Very nice power move. So um, everything so far. It's not only been four points scored in the half, but it's play has been dominated by Foxborough. Time of possession is going to win this game right now because they're not <laughs> <laughs> they're not shooting any lights out going on. Loose ball comes away. Joyce has the loose ball, and Patty comes away with a long pass. And Severian can't. <laughs> is there nice a lid? Bounce, I yeah. think there's a lid on the basket. There's some, yeah, there's some ran wrap or something on the end of that. Now it's Joe Steeble who misses it, but Cheney comes back down and puts Foxborough up 13. Foxborough taking control here, and Severian wants a timeout. So, nice job. Well, uh, Stu, I want to say, I think we. I don't think Severian's put the ball in the net. No, nope, it was 27-20 at halftime. Foxborough's only scored six. But the, with the defense that playing is let take control of this game, up 13. And considering Severian's only scored 20 points in the first 20 minutes of the game with 12 to go, they're going to have their work cut out for them. All right, we got a replay coming up of uh, the Cheney jump shot. I believe that gives Cheney 15. As he one of on his, his quest stop jump shots for another 20 point game. With the timeout, you want to let you tell us about that fundraiser again that we want everyone to come out and support. And yeah, look right. at the delicious popcorn you can get. Exactly. Go <laughs> over there and support our <laughs> concession stand as you speak. And don't forget about our fundraiser coming up on January 14th, Saturday night. Gonna have an alumni game. All your blasts from the past coming up to play each other, have a little fun, a little basketball. Girls and boys, right? Girls and boys. Good night, a lot of fun. Dana Barrows is gonna put it on for us. Well, he's already started the count against Severian as he called them back in. And stolen by Foxborough. Cheney finds Plasmati. Sestito is gonna launch a three. Ooh, back eye in and Rex with the rebound. Double team in the ball and the steal That's by Cheney. That's a nice defense going on. Oh, oh, That's oh, an intentional. Oh, oh, oh. Dave Patty getting called for an intentional. And that could be an ejection, in my opinion. I don't think there's any need of that this time of the game. I know they're a little upset. But Let's see what they, if they call on the ejection. Let's watch the replay. Fouls on one, two, per. You have good defense right there no. by Sestito and Plasmati. Boom, right there, stopping the ball. I, nice don't think, I don't think they're calling the ejection, but never even went. Oh, just grabbed them around the neck. Not a good foul. At least go for the ball. So is that a... Um, they, di they didn't eject them. But is it a technical or... It's a... How many shots is that? You two shots. Two? And the ball. And the ball. But Coach Salaki using good judgment, taking him out. Cheney hits one of the two. And Foxborough extends it to a 14-point lead. It was I think Bo was questioning the same thing on the... I guess it's not a, that was the technical two was, shots. Uh, yeah, there was a, well, it's, not, it's, it's a, just a, it's a, it's a flagrant foul, two shots, pl plus you get the plus ball. Plus the ball, so that's. Oh, nothing but net right there. Jimmy Cheney with three, and I believe he's got his 20. That'll give him 20 there. Still a lot of time left in this game. Get him some more points Joyce if he can. launches Ooh. a three, and he was hot earlier today. 
has not scored. Nice and move. They might have a chance now with Atkinson going to the line. Fouls on Grossberg. 1-4, Grossberg. Second. Third foul on Third, Grossberg. missed one of his. Chaney, perfect form on the three-pointer. Just drills it home. And nice Atkinson right gets them on the scoreboard in the second half. They've been outscored 10 to nothing before that. A very convincing lead so far for Fox, but I don't want to say a win. We've got 11 minutes to go. But. And that's Sestito for three. And Foxborough up by 18 and taking control. Starting to play a little defense now. The boys. Bo's really got these guys moving, moving well. Nice job, Jim. Timmy with the hands. Channing almost with a steal. Was a repay on the basket. Nice moving out. Right back to him. Steps up for his three. Uh, nothing but net right there. There you go. Opens up a little lead right now. Shimonski and Bath and Fazerian. As Coach Salaki trying anything to try to get back into this ballgame. He's down 18. And has no offense. Yeah, Severian scored their only couple of three throws. Boff misses that, and we got a foul. Oh, that's his fourth. And I believe it's going to be in Rex on the rebounding action, his fourth. Eric Rex, fourth foul. Fourth on the team, and nothing going right for Severian right now. And that's going to be a foul on Brady. That's the 15th foul. And right now, Severian's got no answers, and Foxborough playing extremely well. That's Cheney. They're trying to press now. They got the full court going on them. There goes Grossberg. Grossberg bringing it up. Nice Finds hand Plasmati. up. Plasmati finds Bernstein. Oh, Bernstein Bern, get in there, throws it up. Him. Eddie's all arms and legs, and oh, he finds a way to <laughs> arms, legs, I'll and get, we know feet. I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> the, the arms there, look at he's he's scratching his knee without even bending over right there. His kids get some arms going on. And he's all arms and legs, and he. He finds, some, he finds a way to get to the line. And then if he doesn't, he's got the feet that they step on. Well, I give him two thumbs up the last two games. This kid has played unbelievable. He has a beautiful shot right there. He's 5'10", but he's got the arms of a 6'6 guy. <laughs> and he gets on the scoreboard. He had double figures in the first half of the last game against Latin Academy. And hits the scoreboard here with two foul shots. And it's Very a 20-point nice. lead. Another basket. Another stop in a basket. Yeah, there goes Bernstein right there. There's the stop. Oh. No, not backcourt. Got to get all three. Close, huh? no, Got to get all three pots <laughs> over. Only had one pot. It was a big pot. I was sitting on the line. It was good. And good call by the official. It used to be the rule if you one pot went over. It was. It was. Uh, and there's a foul. Number three again. That's that Shimelinski on the foul. Oh. And well, even if it isn't shooting, it's a one on one. Shimalinski, they call him? Shimalinski. Oh, Shim, that's right. And Chaney, if he can make both here, they will, oh, be, yeah. they will be double Severian at 44-22. And it's getting to the point where I'm going to say the road is on. Get it there. Misses that. One, well, let's see. Foxborough with great intensity on defense here. Brady finds Bath and Bath walks. Well, they're starting to struggle a little bit now. Starting? <laughs> they're searching. Right now, they have no answer. And it's four on three. Atkinson finds good. And Cheney has him. He's going to drive and gets blocked by Rex. His own rebound. <laughs> <laughs> How to see that one again? How do you get up? <laughs> Lands on his rebound. And well, he landed, and then he landed on his lap, I guess. Cheney's going to try it again. 
Instead, Atkinson's going to launch, I mean, Crossbury's going to launch a three. And the ball comes away to Plasmati. And we got a foul on Brady and a technical on Brady. And, Sever and Severian's just unraveling here. So that's two personals to charge him. That's going to bring us up to 19 fouls, I believe. That's a Paris. We got a replay of that Cheney rebounding action. Oh, there he is. He fell on it. He's rolling on it. Yeah, but he didn't travel he because he never had really possession of it. Good block, though, by Rex, actually. All right, so Jim Sestito taking the technicals. Mm, oh. No, th yeah, not, I, I, yeah, they're going to shoot the technicals for us, then the foul. Who had the ball? Plasmati had the ball, right? Now somebody we haven't seen yet, Joe Palmino coming in. They didn't call that a shooting foul? Well, it's 44-20. I don't know what went on there. It's 44-22 now. I don't know what happened to the shooting foul. They, they had the technical. Loose ball underneath Cheney and Atkinson battling. Yeah, I don't think it was a shooting foul. I think it was. It might, yeah, but it would have been one on one. Joe. I think oh, it was a bad. He, did he, I don't know what happened. It was a bad call, out of bounds call or something. I'm and not then sure. He gave. I think he gave the referee a little uh, grief there. He probably said something he shouldn't have. Been. Eddie out, Drew in. Eddie Bernstein out, Drew Connolly in. And one of our cameramen going on right there. And Severian facing the pressure again. Atkinson drives. He's got fouled by Grossberg. And Atkinson, I believe, has the only two points of the half. Is that Grossberg's? Fourth. Yeah. Atkinson, Severian's only scored two points this half in yep. about seven minutes. Bernstein back in, Grossberg out. Atkinson has the two points on two foul I mean, shots. I keep on calling Grossberg at yeah. Atkinson. Yeah, they kind of look alike to me. Grossberg out, at, uh, Bernstein in. Grossberg has four fouls. Bringing back your baseball days now. Yeah. Well, Grossberg never played baseball. <laughs> oh, he didn't, did he? No. I mean, I had soccer. And Goody, good played for me, Bernstein. Um, who else on that team? Well, those are the juniors, right? Conley didn't play. Uh, Drew, Drew, wasn't, Drew wasn't, didn't play baseball that much either. Played in, you know, in the regular league. Couldn't play in the summer league. I never had, a, I had the pleasure of coaching Drew once. Good play to coach. Sestito picks up the foul. So, unbelievable. De let's go back to what I was. Before I screwed up my names there, let's go back to what I was talking about. Um, unbelievable defense by Foxborough. They've only given up two points this half, and those are from the foul line. They, Severian has not scored a field goal this half. Kind of a major and statistic going on right now. You're talking about 13 minutes, going into 12 minutes. 11. Eight minutes. And Bo Work and the ref here. Who's up? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's me. Oh, he's <laughs> wondering about um, the shot clock. Shot clock, why that would start again, yeah? Questioning it. I kind of questioned that myself. Why? I'm not sure. I kind of missed it. I was talking more about the defense. And Sestito bumps him, and that will be a foul on Sestito. His third. And Cheney up off the bench, and he's probably going to come in for Sestito. So Foxborough picking up a little foul trouble here. Sestito with three, Grossberg with four. Yeah, still can Still enough time in this game for anybody to get in control if they can make yeah. a basket. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems to be a little cellophane going on that hoop there. I think it might be too late for Zavarian if they get on a run. Good. Ooh, and that's a travel. That's what I thought. He did take a step before he was whacked. Well, I think Bo's very happy about that. I think when you you got to use the shot. I think you got to use the clock as your friend at this time. You know, oh, a steal by Foxborough again. 
Plasmani dribbles out of traffic. That's all. No swing the ball. Play your game right now. Control. All of that. And Sestito, um, excuse me, Cheney is fouled, and I believe it's either Shemalinski or... Gary Price took a shot over there on the camera number four. Jeff Bernstein checking to see if he's injured. <laughs> oh, he's down, I think. No, nope. back up. <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> Cheney at the line. Uh, Shemal I believe Shemalinski got that foul. Mike Weber running over there. We already lost one cameraman. We're not sure where he is. <laughs> Cheney hits. And the route continues. Good picture of Al Sozio. Voice of Foxborough. Voice of Foxborough. One of the great singers of uh, Cheney missed both of those. No, he made one. Okay. And we got a pinball game going on. They're going to call Drew for a kick. I'm raising his leg when he was on the floor. It's going to be on the side. First on Drew. I'm not sure where I am with Cheney. I have him as 21 points right now. I might have missed one here and there with him. Okay, Joyce, it looks like he's going to come back in the game. Shimolinski out. Joyce, the way he started this game, Stu, I thought he was going to be a scoring phenomenon well, today. Three for three, right away. Three. No, had first, first nine, 11 had points. First 11 points. Um, but then Foxborough went out, started guiding him, and took away his shots. Had to hit the three when, you, when somebody in your face. And Foxborough got in his face pretty good. Here's, he's short on that one, Joyce. And here comes Plaz. Cheney passes up on the three, and Foxborough resets. Yeah, I don't think Bo would have been too happy if he shoot up a three right away with the clock. Yep. Now the shot clock's down to 15. Cheney shut off. Swing the ball, a little sprint. I don't know how he finds it over there, but there yep. it is. Goody for a three. No good. And the drought continues for Severian as they have not scored a field goal this half. Bath going to launch a three and hits one. First field goal of the half. Took eight minutes and 50 seconds for Severian to score a field goal. That was Bath. Bath for three. And that cuts the deficit to 20. <laughs> and because of that, Bo takes a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they scored their third, their fifth point on us. So no, he's just. I think now it's just. Of course, he just wants to clock manage and play the game right. He's just basically this is the way he coaches. Use your head. Yeah, you know, even though you're up 20 points, Jim, this is only a sixth game of the year, and you're gonna. You know, and Bo, and the reason we have the success we have is Bo is coaching this game like it's a tournament game. No chances. Teaching the kids how to finish the ball game. Absolutely. Seven minutes to go, 20 point leads can disappear very quickly. Now, the way Severian's shooting with only 25 points in the first seven, uh, seven 25 minutes of the game, you wouldn't think that they could come back. But the point is, he's not nothing, right. You know, you he's can't, coaching you can, the game as coaching it's, the game as it's a tournament game, yeah. and he's winning that game no matter right. how coach, you look at. You it. coach the game because the lessons they learned tonight are going to come down the line. I mean, this team started out with two losses, but they still have a shot at the league title. Absolutely. You know, Sharon's 4-0. They're beatable. They, we could have won that game. Yeah. You now, this team was going, had a little bit of the football Super Bowl hangover. Right. He had a, you know, I mean, you got to give one him credit, boy. He had one week of practice, the one scrimmage, and yep. goes into this. The only players he had before were Bernstein, Plasmati. Yeah, they were playing one-on-one -on -one for the week. And that's it, right? Everyone else was on a, playing football. That's it. And he had one week of practice, went right into the season, had a start with Franklin, you know, the early season favorite. That was not a good, and then had Sharon, a team you, I think he probably would beat most nights. And, you know, was just not ready to play. You know, the hangover wore off. They came ready to play the next week. They've won three in a row, and they're looking for four. And this is a Division One team. You know, yes, they struggled. Severian, but they still have, there's a lot of talent out there. They're just not playing very good basketball tonight. And one of the reasons they're not playing good basketball is the defense Foxborough's been playing. Well, like and you said, you've studied this team. You know you talked about them. They are not very good with the um, the pressure, the full court pressure. No, but the, the other, I mean, they're not getting the ball inside. That's one of their first inside shots. Number 12. 
uh, and they're not getting the ball inside, but part of that is the defense. That was Dave Patty that scored that. He was the one that um, fouled Cheney, I believe. And he just fouled? No, he, uh, he got the basket. And then it was an out of bounds, I believe. So, but now if you coach Salaki, you know, you're kind of in the same boat. You're trying to settle your team down. You're down 18 now. You want them to play good basketball, try to get it. Try Which, to get yourself respectable, get yourself into the game. Next week they start league play with Malden Catholic and probably one of the best teams in the state, BC High. So you know, is that how they do it, Stu? I, I have no league games this deep into the season. Uh, because it's only a five-team league. Thank you. So they have eight league games, and they're going to start league play next week. With uh, And you division them as number 1A or is it 1? Yeah, 1, Division 1. They were in the Super Bowl, too. They had a heartbreaking loss like we did. They lost. Oh, they played real well. I watched yeah, those they, games. They, they played Brockton, uh, the, one of their better players. And another former Fox for I, Tim, um, Chris Fox. Chris Fox, yeah. Uh, dropped the pass in the end zone. Tough break. I mean, the ball had it was like a rock, as you all know, that day. Uh, and had a good pass. Dropped it in the end zone, which could have led to the tying point after, but didn't. But Brockton was a very, very good club. Led yeah, by, that was another great game. Led by good. Junior Penn, who was a super running back, just a bull, mm -hmm. ran right through people. There's Rex. He played defensive end for football. Oh. And, but Severian didn't. Have, even though they didn't have, they were missing some of the play. Didn't have the same issue missing all the football players that that um, Fox were missing. Shimolinski's a football player. Uh, Rex is a football player. I think he had four or five football players. He didn't have his whole team like Foxborough did playing football. But you're also talking a school with 1,200 boys versus a school with 400 boys. Down low. And that was Dave Ferris. He was fouled. And he thought. Eddie Bernstein picks up his first. I gave that to Bernstein. So Ferris misses his foul shot. Down 20, can't afford to miss him. Wholesale changes for Foxborough. Allen, Grosper, good. Replace Bernstein, Plasmati, Connolly. I think we'll be seeing Ali Matata soon. Played very well in the JV game. Hmm, I don't know if he saw a little time in the last. No, he didn't game. play in the second half. With only um, eight guys, he's, he's got to save him. You know, because numbers play a situation. You, know, you only get eight guys. You can certainly have three guys follow out in a game. Foxborough running their offense very deliberately. Double high stack. And we got a foul away from the ball. And yeah, number 25 was all over Jimmy that time. I mean, I'm Brady. I heard both saying, Jimmy, get out of there, get out of there. But the kid was kind of grabbing him underneath the chest there. So They're getting a little frustrated, too, like you said. They're starting to get a little frustrated. Now they've been frustrated for a while. They've played a little better the last three minutes, but they're still down 19. So how is their league? They missed... Um, well, the league is very strong. Well, uh, BC High could be one of the better teams in the league. Um, I'm not sure how Malden Catholic is. Um, St. John's Prep is usually pretty good in most sports. Of course, Brockton is usually no, good. No, Brockton's maybe. not in their league, though. All They're right. in their division. And the other team is Catholic Moore, who were the, I believe, the Division II champs last year. Cheney, um, they were smaller, they were the smallest school of the five teams in the Catholic Conference. And the Catholic Conference, you know, it's, it's a pretty good basketball league. I mean, the Akamak's a very good basketball league, especially for Division Two. But the Catholic Conference is known for its hockey. As right. As you all know. Exactly. Catholic Memorial is not only one of the best teams in the state, but one of the best high school hockey programs in the country with um, a school from um, a school from Rhode Island there. Um, 
coming up on the hill there. Sure. Going blank. A couple of schools in Minnesota. I mean, they, they, they were fine a hockey school in the country. BC High is very strong. The, yep, Grossman, kid, the Grossman kid from Foxborough went there, and he's playing juniors now. He was supposed to go to Boston College, but I, don't, I think now he might be going to Yale. So, very, you know, strong, strong hockey league. Severian don't have a no hockey team, right? Do they, they play? Yeah, they oh, play they over do? here in Foxborough. Um, a couple of sh Foxborough kids play on the varsity team. Uh, oh, Larry, Be them. Larry Barrow and I forgot who the other one was. Nice uh, to see. I'm going to go. Yeah, they play over at um, the Foxborough Sports Center. There you go. Oh, nice. That's rebound. Alan with the um, rebound. They play at the Foxborough Sports Center. My good friend, Mr. Tussos, Tussos brought a hell of a facility into Foxborough. Years ago, I remember talking to me. Richard. Saying he had a dream, him yeah. and his father there. And yeah. I said, good luck, and look at him now. Yeah. Rich got two rinks over there and doing a great job for Foxborough and all the surrounding town. Beautiful city. That's Timmy Cheney with the ball. He's nice move right there. Shot. Boy, is Boy that he's pretty. got his outside game going in. That's a pretty looking shot right there, Timmy. And it's now a 24 point lead, and Severian's going to take another timeout. This has just been a very impressive game for Foxborough. It's going to be a very impressive win. Knock off a Division I team. Not sure if the Foxborough's playing that well. Severian's not playing well at all. I mean, just well, you know, but it comes down to defense, Jim. You play defense. And yeah. Go, 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 go. And take a a of change, but we all know what a great slasher Cheney is. But if he starts hitting this jump shot, he's going to be. This jump shot. Um, once he, when he gets hot on this one, boom. He's going to be just unstoppable. You can tell. He's already backing away. So well, Severian crowd's quieted down over there. Yeah. A couple of people heading for the exits. <laughs> Want to beat the traffic out of the parking lot. <laughs> I think we had about four or five hundred here tonight. A very good crowd. Excellent crowd. One of the better crowds. It was the last game of 2005. Looking forward to the new year. Jimmy. And um, and Foxborough is going to end the year with a win and go to four and two. Yeah. Feeling, Rocky start. Feeling very good about themselves. So going back to what I was saying, though, Jim. Defense. Defense. You, you make a team look bad with great defense. Defense. And one of the um, trademarks of Foxborough over the, the Beau years has been the defense, and today they played great defense. Relentless. And over the years, and he hasn't even started full court pressure really on no, with yeah, these no, guys yet. They've been running that 2-2-1. Two, two, they've been playing very over good. Over the years, he had a couple of kids that could really haunt the ball right from the start. So he's like he's playing a 500. That's Patty, um, excuse me, um, Brady with the ball. It's 25 is Brady. Down low, a good Rex, pass. and he's fouled, oh. and I believe it dropped. Whoa, and I'm going to give him his first two, and he's going to the line. Wow, he's only got two. He had quick three fouls in the beginning of the game, if you remember right, and they pulled him out early. He's, he didn't get much. He's played a lot the second half, but obviously they haven't scored many points. Ten points this half. Grossberg just fouled out. Played a very good game. Coach is very happy about that. Gets a few words of encouragement from Bo. <laughs> <laughs> And Rex hits the foul shot. There you go, Rex. Eddie Bernstein with the ball. Oh. And Cheney misses, and here comes Brady. I don't know where he gets his legs. He plays a whole game, and he can still slash under that hoop. Comes down to Rex. Rex puts it up, no good, and Allen's going to pick up the foul. Number four, oh, Allen. Big Rex shooting again. Eric Rex at the line. 
His fourth picks, point today. Picks up another point. Gets it back to a 20 point game. Cheney out. <laughs> nice ovation from the crowd. What do they get this Alec? Alan Ricks listed at 6'5", is that? 6'4", six, 6'5", six, yeah, he's a pretty big kid. I don't think he's 6'5", we'll though. I think they added a couple inches on him. Yeah. How tall is Plaz? He's about the same size as Plaz. Yeah, Plaz must be about 6'6". Six, six, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we got Plaz down there? <laughs> Probably 5'9". Uh, Plaz, we got him at 6'6". Six, six even. Plaz, 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 six feet. He's about the same. Uh, Rex just came out, so we can't measure him up again. <laughs> Can you boys go back to back, please? What, what's Jimmy? Six two? Six one. Six one. Six one. If he stands up straight, he can get up to a six one and a half. <laughs> Doesn't slouch. <laughs> yeah. Good miss the first. Yeah, I think Jimmy came into the into the basketball season at a 208 to 10 pounds, and he's already lost probably 15 pounds in the season. Basketball will take it off to you quick. There's the defense. I love the defense. That's how he stays nice. Making them rush their shots. Ooh. Got a foul away from the Behind. ball. There's your buddy there, Joyce. I don't think it was fouls on him. I think the foul was on Ferris. All four or five, you're right. Franklin native. His second. Three kids from Franklin from Severian. Two from Walpole. Hanover, Millis. Foxborough, as we said with Atkinson. Quinn. Abington, too, huh? You can draw from. Go from anywhere. Anywhere, right? As long as you want to drive it. I'm going to pay for it. Take the bus. He just rimmed out two. Down to two minutes. Way. I don't know if he made the first one. I, I'm not sure either. I missed it. Brady. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Drew Connolly is going to pick up that foul. <laughs> Drew's only had second today. Good for him. Making him pay. <laughs> So let's see, Allen's up off the bench. Who's he going to come in for? I would think. He's not sure. Ah, it's just Dito. <laughs> so Jimmy comes out. No, uh, no Drew came out. Drew, Drew came out. out. I'm sorry, Drew came out. One foul shot for Papa. Uh-oh, Jimmy's going to take over the game now. <laughs> I'm not too happy with that unless he's going to make it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Here comes Brady back. And good almost with a steal. Finds Ferris. Ferris nice move. That's up a nice the move glass. there, Ferris. Good job. And we're down to a minute 17. 19 point Fox probably very convincing win here. Match Severian's athleticism and much better intensity on the defensive end. Jimmy misses the shot, he's gonna reset it. And Good has it. And here comes Ali Mortada off the bench. Flash travels, and that's going to let Alley get in the game with 41 seconds. And Jimmy Sestito comes out to a war of the crowd. Ferris working underneath. He, he puts one in. He's been a, a bright light in the last few minutes for Severian. He's actually scoring some points here. And we're in the 15 seconds. Shot clock's off. I think it's just a and good. Not sure if Severian's going to back off the ball a no, little bit here. No, Severian, no quit. 
even though they're down 20 by 17. And now the realization is in and the game is over. A very, very, very impressive one, Jim. 54-37, Foxborough just dominates. Tim Cheney led the way again. 27 points I have him down for. I'm not sure if I've got them all, but I think I got him at 27 with Sestito with 12. Followed up by um, a few other guys with the points. Mm. And not much positive to say about Severian. They had, uh, Joyce had the first 11 points, and after Joyce that... Joyce started out strong. Looked and like Foxborough could... just put the clamps down in the beginning of the second half with two points in the first eight minutes and 30 seconds and no field goals by Severian. Great, great defensive effort. And if you're a coach of basketball, you appreciate that defensive effort. The, um, the fans might not always like to see no scoring, but coaches love to see that defensive effort. Coaches love the defense, and um, that's what won the game tonight. Severian yeah. just had no answer for that kind of yeah. pressure. So, four wins in a row, Jim? Hey, they're on a roll now. I think we got something here. Yeah, we we got, got something going. We got four wins in a row. Got a bye Tuesday night, and as we begin the new year, next Friday, January 6th, at home, Stoughton. Big league game. Foxborough, even though they lost their first two league games, still have a chance to win this league. And come on out. I'm not going to keep saying, you know, I'm not gonna, I'll am not. i keep saying it as we do this. Come on out and help us out. Everyone thought North, uh, Franklin was the team to beat. They are the team to beat, but they've got a loss. We've still got North. we still got Char uh, Sharon again. It's going to be a... Um, Good run for this team. Good battle right now. You know the Hawkmock's always going to be tough, and no one's going to. None of these teams are going to give up. They play defense like this; they can beat anybody. Just get the points in, and you're going to do all right. We want to thank the camera crew. Great job, the production crew. Thank you Mike very Weber, much again. As always, Mike Weber is always step up for us. I'm not sure what happened to our cameraman. And um, another great effort for the Fox Pro Warriors. It's been a pleasure. I want to wish everyone a happy New Year. By the time you see this, you'll probably be in the New That's Year. That's it. Happy but, two six. Yep, and we'll see you. Um, Next Friday night, Foxborough will take on Stoughton. We look okay. forward to it. Happy New Year, Happy everyone. New Year, a great Stoughton. win. Another great effort for Timmy Cheney. 27 points. Come out. Team's a pleasure to watch. And don't forget about the fundraiser. Don't forget. Come on out. We'll see you next week. Good night, everyone.